The sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may. Everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude to review any and any the 2014 any and I am gonna stop singing. So anyways, yes, Annie is a remake to the 1982 original Annie. It stars with Villa Shane Wallace. I can never get the name right. I really am sorry about that. Jamie Foxx, Rose Byrne, Bobby Cannavale, and Cameron Diaz. The story is about a little girl named Annie who lives in a foster home with her very mean foster mom played by Cameron Diaz. Jamie Foxx is competing to hopefully win the position of being mayor of New York. When he saves Annie's life, this whole big campaign goes around so he could show everyone that he's nice and it could hopefully be his chance to win the position of being the mayor and Annie stays along with them for a while until this whole campaign with the mayor thing concludes. Going into Annie, I was just hoping for a solid family movie just because one, we don't get enough of these live action family movies and two, as I mentioned in my Into the Woods movie review recently, we don't really get enough musicals nowadays. Now that I've seen Annie, what can I say about the movie? It's cute. I didn't really mind watching this movie at all. It's not one of the worst remakes I've seen, it's far from that, but it is far from being one of the best remakes at the same time. And I could already just say right off the bat, my favorite parts of Annie, for the most part, are the musical numbers. The musical numbers are catchy, they're a lot of fun to listen to. Like, one of my favorite musical numbers to listen to was Tomorrow when Annie is singing it. A lot of the musical numbers I actually found myself in enjoying. This time around it has more of this hip hop style to it. Most of the acting as well I did really enjoy. Quiven Shane Wallace, uh, once again I can't get her name right but she plays Annie and I thought she did a really good job playing Annie. She really presented the overall character just very well. Jamie Foxx was also really entertaining. He has a lot of charisma. There are times where he adds funny moments to it. He was overall very entertaining. He had the heart to the character. He had the personality to the character. And of course, yeah, while it was pretty predictable, it was nice to see the character have care for Annie. Rose Byrne is also very terrific here. As always, she's very beautiful. Not only was she just likable in general, but how she presented her character was very well done. There's also Bobby Cannavale. I like Bobby Cannavale, but one of my issues with the movie, he wasn't good. He was actually really bad. And that's one of my flaws with Annie, to be honest. There are a few performances that were really really cringeworthy, but with one performance to stand out as the worst performance in this movie. Bobby Cannavale was not very good. His character was extremely annoying. And that's not Bobby Cannavale's fault. That's just the script's fault for giving not a very interesting character. And then you have Stephanie Kurtzuba, in which I have no idea why she's even in this film. She was very pointless. It was very cringeworthy, but the performance that was absolutely horrible is Cameron Diaz. Oh my God. If there is one thing I could truly say that was so awful about Annie is Cameron Diaz's performance. Yes, Bobby Cannavale was bad. Uh, Stephanie Kurtzuba, however you pronounce the actress's name, she was bad too. But they don't compare to how bad Cameron Diaz is. Cameron Diaz just tries way too hard with her character, giving so many of these annoying faces. And she's going, uh, Annie, uh, clean up your room and let her faces. Oh dear God, they were so bad. Any scene with Cameron Diaz is so unwatchable. To top it all off, there is a musical number where she sings about little girls being everywhere. Everywhere she goes, there's just little girls. 
that was one of the worst musical numbers I've ever heard. And there was a musical number that she and Bobby Cannavale had together. I'm not joking when I say that. And that musical number was just as awful. So I would say the movie has two truly awful musical numbers, while the rest of the musical numbers I actually do find to be very fun and very catchy overall. But as much as I did enjoy the musical numbers, I did think there were a few times where the lip syncs did feel a little bit off. While I do think the choreography works well in some moments, in other moments it does get a little messy and it does get very predictable in the finale. I mean, yeah, the, the film in general is predictable, but I didn't mind the overall predictability of the film. It's just once the film got to the finale, you know where it was going to lead up and how it leads up is what I expected. But I will say with this remake though, in terms of the storyline, I really didn't think the storyline was bad. I actually thought the writing was decent. Not good per se, but I would say decent. It helps me get through the movie. You have Sandy the dog who is a lot different from the dog in the original, but you know it was even cool to see Sandy the dog. And the movie does have heartwarming moments which I really appreciated. But yeah, and the final problem I did have with this remake is how there is a little twist involving Annie, this certain problem she's struggling with, and I found it rather odd that the film took in that direction. It just really didn't work all that well. It's a remake I didn't mind watching in all honesty, and I'm going to give the 2014 remake Annie two and a half out of four stars. So comment down below, let me know, what did you think of the 2014 version of Annie? This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have It's Hard Knock Life. Tiger Power!